Hello dearies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If today is the first time stopping by, you're most welcome. My name is Selassie. I'm a registered public health nurse here in Ghana. So, as part of the nursing and midwifery admission process, you are required to go for interview. And interviews are very, very important because it's one deciding factor on whether you get admission or not. So it is very important that you prepare towards your interview so in today's video we are going to look at a number of interview questions and how you can tackle it and how you can go about responding to them some of them i'll give you sample response and others it's based on you how will you respond to such questions if you were asked in your interview because nobody knows you better than you so if you're interested and you're an applicant trying to find your way into lesson, let's dive right in. Before we get into the questions, the fact that you have been invited for interview or the fact that you will be going for an interview means that you've already met the minimum requirements that you need to enter into nursing or midwifery or any of the health training programs. Okay, so bear that one in your mind that you are already good enough to be in that school or to be giving admission, okay? So now what the interview does is that, okay, we've seen your application form, we've seen your grades, but we want to know you, who are you? We want to know your personality. We want to know if you are a good fit for the nursing and midwifery program. So basically the interview and all of the stress that comes with it is just to know you. So bear this one in mind and present your best self when you go for your interview. All your answers, all the, the way you talk, your mannerism and all, we'll deal with that one in a different video, but all of it should point to the fact that you are good, you have the qualities to become a good nurse, you have the qualities to be a good midwife. And with that, you will kill your interview, okay? Another thing you should know is that interviews are supposed to be conversations about you because, like I said, we are getting to know you. So when you are giving your answers, give your answers like somebody who knows him or herself, okay? Put your best self forward, convey your feelings, convey your character, let your personality show. Okay, let that your best self show. Okay, and you kill your interview. Now, that being said, let's get into some categories of questions that uh, you'll be asked in your interview. And this one, I've categorized them under seven categories. So, we'll look at sample questions that you can get from these categories. Okay, the first category is general questions. Now, general questions are the ice-breaking questions, okay? So, you walk inside the room, everything is kind of quiet, you don't know what to expect. So, general questions are there to get you to start talking. And it's when you start talking that the flow is set, okay? So, general questions will determine how the flow of your interview will go. So if your interview will go well, it's based on how you start answering your general questions. And if your interview will go bad, it's the same at the comment. Okay, so number one, they can either decide to bulk it up, like just try to know you in one question or break it down. So if they want to bulk it up or let you just, just to give you the opportunity to talk, they will ask you, Tell us about yourself. So tell us about yourself is an ice-breaking question. They are typically asking this question, mostly at the beginning of the interview, to see how the interview will go or what direction it will take. They want to get a feel of your personality, see how you communicate, and genuinely find out more about you and what has led you to this point of applying to their school. So some of the things I would want you to include will be something about your background. Where, where, where are you from? 
if you were born and raised somewhere we've talked about that the best way is to always start with your name my name is or i am selassie belinda agboga i come from adapopato bay but i was raised in chastikine you know then you, you set the momentum going another thing you should also include is something about your childhood that led you to this point of applying for nursing so let's say uh, my name is Selassie Belinda Bougan. I come from Adapopato Bay. I was raised, but I was raised in Jassican because my father was transferred to Jassican and so the whole family moved there. I'm the last of six children and when I was growing up, I had brushes all over my body. So I was admitted at the hospital and the nurse there, and one nurse there took very good care of me. And when I was leaving, I thanked her and she said, do I like the way she took care of me? I said yes, and I, she said, pay it forward. And so because of that, I've always wanted to be a nurse. Then, if there is more time, you can add your passions or hobbies. One, two, or three passions or hobbies. I am very passionate about this. I am a very curious person. I like learning new things. And anytime I come upon, anytime I'm exposed to something that I know nothing about and it incites my curiosity, I like to read more or expose myself more to it to get more knowledge. And so because of that, I, I am very knowledgeable in a lot of things. Now be careful because in answering your questions, interviewers are listening to pick up things from your response to ask you follow-up questions on and that can be very good or very bad for you because it, it can be very good if all of the things you are talking about are really true and you can answer follow-up questions on but if it's something you just saw somewhere and you copy the memorize it and you are reciting and if they ask you a follow-up question you may find yourself fumbling okay so let it talk about you okay don't let it be like you read it somewhere you memorize it somewhere you are coming to poor it is not you poor person forget as for these questions it is not you poor person forget okay talk about yourself in a way that represents you best okay then out of it questions may be born that too make your interview go really 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 well okay all right now interviewers may decide to not ask you the tell me about yourself question to get to know you but they will still want to get to know you so they can ask you simple questions like what is your name so that's why you know you have to mention your full name or where are you from now i like to elaborate more like when you ask a question don't just do the bing 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 something like what's your name that one is just your name so you mention your name my name is Selassie Belinda Agbogan okay but if it's a question like where are you from you don't just say who don't just like who and then you are sitting there no you are giving the interviewers more chance to ask you different different questions but when you elaborate more then they can pick something from your answer to ask you another question that you may be able to answer i hope that makes sense so what i'm trying to say here is that answer your questions in a way that will lead the interviewers to ask you questions that you'll be able to answer all right so some a question like where are you from i'll say i was born in adakubato bay but i was raised in jessica and after a while, I came back to Adakupato Bay. So my primary years was spent in Jessica and my JHS, I came back to Adakupato Bay to school. See, then now they can ask you, oh, so where is Jessica? Which region is Jessica? Uh, what is, do you like about Jessica? And all of that. I hope you, you it makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> all right. Or they can also ask you, tell us about your hobbies or your passion. 
and this one let it be something that will benefit you as a nurse i love to read i love exploring i like learning about people you know things that will is people centered care centered okay so that is about general questions they are just there to get to know you so now that we set the ball rolling another category they can ask you questions for are questions that will show your character or your personality and this question they already know your name where you are from and maybe some background story but now they want to get into the nitty gritties of seeing who you actually are so in this place they can ask you a question like what is one word you use to describe yourself so one word i can use to describe myself is i'm um, empathic when i see people suffering i'm able to put my shoe myself in their shoes and treat them the way i want to be treated if I were in that situation. Empathy is a good quality a nurse should have. Or one word I can use to describe myself is joyful. When I'm in an environment, I try to bring joy into that environment. And because of that, I find that I am able to fit into a lot of different groups and function well with other people. Because teamwork is another good quality a nurse should be able to have. Okay. Another question could be, what is your greatest strength? What is something that you feel like is your very a good strength that you have? I'm a problem solver. When I find myself in a situation or when there is a problem in front of me, I try my best to find solutions to that. I don't give up easily on problems. Or I'm a good communicator. I, I, I listen well and I'm able to communicate with people no matter the situation. Or one of my greatest strengths is that I can stay calm under pressure. And so I'm able to stay calm when there is a problem or when there is an, a, an issue and find solution to it. In this case, you can also expect follow-up questions like, okay, tell us about a time there was a situation and you were calm to be able to solve that situation and if there is an incident that happened that you were able to maneuver you bring that on board okay so yeah another one could be tell us about your weakness now this one is not to brag and be like ah me my weaknesses i'm so good ah no <laughs> everybody has a bat okay so but don't just describe the weakness and leave it there. Talk about how you are trying to get yourself or better yourself in that area. For example, if you ask me what is my greatest weakness, I'll tell you procrastination. Everybody has a weakness, so don't be shy to talk about your weakness, but Talk about the weakness and talk about what you are doing about that weakness. All right. Another question to get to know you better will be to talk about your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, in the next 10 years, in the next five years, I hope I'll be uh, done with my nursing education. If it's a diploma program, you know it's for three years and you do your national service. So you know, you can say, okay, in five years, I hope to be done with my training and finish with my national service and hopefully be posted so I will start working as a nurse or if you are going for midwifery, as a midwife. Or in the next 10 years, I hope I'll finish my training, start working and maybe start looking at career advancements that is a nice goal to have if your goal is that in the next five years you should be married with one child you can say it nobody will uh, beat you but they just want to see like your mind where your mind be okay still speaking about your character and your personality another question could be what will your boss previous boss say about you maybe in your introduction you talk about oh when i finished secondary school and whilst waiting i started working so they can say okay so then what will your boss say about you 
how your boss describe you or how your classmates describe you. Sometimes some of the responses can overlap. So let's say with this question, what would your boss or your classmates say about you? But they didn't ask you what is one word you use to describe yourself. And you can use that same response to come and respond to this question. Oh, I think my people, my classmates will say I'm a joyful person because anytime I'm in the room, I try to bring laughter. I try to bring joy into the space. And so because of that, I'm a good team player. I'm able to work with people. You see, another question they can ask you is, what qualities do you possess that would benefit you as a nurse? So with this one, you have to know the qualities of a nurse. They have to be an advocate, a good advocate, a good communicator, empathic, competent, professionalism, all of that. A simple Google search, what are the qualities of a nurse? will help you in this one and when you are reading through you read and see which one speaks to you or which one speaks more about you then you use that as an example i'm a very caring person and so when people are in trouble i try to be there for them and support them and since nursing is a, a care a caregiving field i feel like this policy will help me a lot to render the best of care to my patients or to my clients. They can also ask you questions about your educational background, your SHS, your JHS. So let's look at some of the questions that you can get under educational background. They can ask you what it was your favorite subject in school and why. Oh, I love mathematics in school because math, I feel like math is easy. If you know the formula, you put in the numbers and it's easy to solve. Unlike really subjects where I have to sometimes memorize definitions and read and read and read before you get understanding. With math, it's just figures, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and all. So math is my favorite subject. So the favorite, your favorite subject and why you like that subject. Another question could be, have you ever struggled or fallen behind in class? If so, how did you handle it? This one is trying to look at your problem solving skills. So if you've had, uh, you were failing, maybe for example, those of you who have failed some of your WASI exams and so you have to reset any idea you want one. Most of us did it. So it shouldn't be a pain point for you that you can't talk about it. Oh. This subject I struggled with so much so that I even failed it in my WASI exam. So when after our WASI exam, I had to stay home and take extra classes. And this time I paid particular attention to it. I studied harder and I was able to pass that subject. You've handled it. Okay. Another question, and this one is was common last year, is how you can relate your SHS course to nursing or how your the course you did in SHS can benefit you as a nurse or a midwife. And in this case, you can either summarize it or you can pick one out of the whole bunch. So maybe you did uh, general science and you know that biology is the study of living organisms and how they function. So the human body, the human being is a living organism. So you can go like, Oh, because I did general science in SHS and as part of my electives, I did biology. In biology, we learned about the human body and how it functions. And as a nurse, I know that my knowledge in how the human body functions will help me to better understand why they are sick and how to help them to get better. Okay?
or you can decide to okay biology will help me do this physics will help me do this uh, chemistry will help me do this math will help me do this so you can choose one subject and focus on it or you choose and or you make a summary of all of them all right i have responses for general art students and also home economics students and some of the subjects I'll link the playlist at the end of this video for you to watch and elaborate more on it. Okay, so your SHS course and how to relate it to nursing. Another one could be, have you ever experienced a disagreement with a teacher or instructor that was difficult to overcome? How did you resolve it? So if you ever had an issue with any teacher back in your school days, how did you resolve it? Or a reverse of it could be, did you have a favorite teacher in school and why was he or she your favorite teacher? So you talk about why so-so and so was your favorite teacher. For example, I can say uh, my favorite teacher was me, so-so and so. So you mentioned the name of the teacher because if she was your favorite teacher, you remember his or her name. So we talk about that teacher and why she inspired you or she's your favorite teacher. Then we come to questions about the nursing school. Now, for you to be able to handle questions about nursing school, the nursing program you choose, you have to do research. Without research, these questions, you will flop. So for example, you can be asked, why did you choose this school? For this one, so you have to do your research, you have to know something about the school that is appealing to you. Even if you don't know anything about the school, when you go to the campus, form your response about the school. Is the environment me? Do you think they have a lot of infrastructure? Infrastructure is just the buildings. Oh, they have a lot of buildings. The buildings are nice. The school environment looks like some place that you can have peace to study and all of that. So do some research, okay? So an example of a response I can I can give for why did you choose our school would be, I talked with alumni from your nursing school and everybody spoke highly about this school. And while I researched about the school, I saw your mission statement, which is to train competent, vibrant nurses and midwives who will contribute to the delivery of quality health care in and outside Ghana throughout a range of innovative teaching and learning activities that engage students both in the classroom and in other settings. I want to learn from the best and I feel like your school has everything a student seeking success needs. So this one, if you are going to use the mission statement of the school, then that one you have to memorize it. What does that say? Memorize it. It's the only response that I give you permission to memorize because you don't. If it's a mission statement, it is what it is. So if you are going to use it, you have to memorize it. You've so heard that this school they pass next licensing exam well, and so you want to be here. To be trained who doesn't like good schools hmm? all right another one will be why should we admit you to our nursing school or why do you think you are a good fit for our nursing school for this one you are still selling yourself okay why do you think they should admit you in that school an example response is I believe that I am an ideal applicant for your nursing program because I possess the intelligence required to learn important medical knowledge. When given admission, I'll do my best to excel my exams and become a good representative of the school. So form your own responses. Another question still under the school will be, why should we choose you among others? Now this question is a tricky question and you have to be careful in answering it. For this one, you don't know anything about the other applicants. So don't talk anything about the other applicants. Okay, you are here to sell yourself and you only know about you. So an example response would be, 
I can't speak for the other applicants because I don't know them, but you should choose me because I have an excellent learning mindset and an empathetic heart, which is important for a caregiving field. If you give me a chance to be trained in this nursing school, I'll become an excellent representative of your school throughout my professional career. So something like that to help you. So you are selling yourself. You don't care about somebody else. Okay. Now let's come to questions about being a nurse. So here they can ask you, why do you want to be a nurse? Or why did you choose nursing or midwifery as your career? This one, I'll not give you a response. You have to look deep. What about nursing entices me? But here, everybody works because they want to get money. So money is not a good example. Money is not a good reason to want to join any profession because at the end of it, you get money. But what if the money you are expecting to get, you enter the field and you are not getting that money? What will happen to the job? Okay, so passion, your zeal for the job should come first before so again tell a story tell the story i went to the hospital this happened or my family member was sick this happened tell a story okay like my story i was sick she took care of me she said pay it forward so i have to become a nurse to pay it forward that was my story and out of that story i got questions out of it and i was able to excel my interview so for this one find a good why and leave it in the comment section i want to read why you want to be a midwife why you want to be a nurse why you chose any of the uh, or any of the fields you are trying to enter so leave your why in the comment section for me to read and i also make inputs as we go along okay thank you still about being a nurse or midwife tell me some responsibilities you believe are part of the nurse's role what role do you think a nurse plays or a midwife plays this one should the answer you give should be based on the program you are applying for so if you are applying for general nurses if you are applying for general nursing you know general nurses work in the hospital they do patient care so target your answers towards that and so because of that you would have research about general nurses and what they do they give medication they serve bed pan, they do mouth care they care for the patient on the ward so so and that okay if you are going for midwifery you know that oh midwives they take care of pregnant women from the time they are pregnant until they deliver so some of the things that they will do to help that woman deliver safely you will learn read about it if you are going for public health nursing, community health nursing, vaccination is your job. Taking care of children is your job. So those are the things you should pick out so that you will not be in a midwifery uh, interview and you are talking about uh, serving bedpan, doing mouth care and all of that. Okay. So this one too, I leave it up to you because you have to do your research before you go into your interview. What do you think is the most important trait a nurse should have and why? What do you think is the most important trait or quality a nurse should have? This one, so you have to know the qualities of a nurse or the good traits of a nurse. If you ask me, I'll say a nurse will have to be competent. Competent to know what she is expected of her competent to know the, her responsibilities and how to execute them well. Another quality a nurse should have is professionalism. Or you think a nurse should be empathetic. Why do you think a nurse should be empathetic? Or you think a nurse should be a good communicator? Why should a nurse be a good communicator? Why should a nurse be an advocate? So any of the traits that you think every nurse should possess that is what you use to defend your answer and relate it to you okay like i said you are selling yourself so relate it to you like so me i am empathetic or me i think when i'm trained i'll be competent or me you see that 
towards you sell yourself okay another question they can ask about nursing is what do you imagine is the most difficult thing about being a nurse it could be depending on you but an example could be when nurses lose their patients you know you are taking care of somebody hoping that they will get better and they die and you see the devastating effect it has on the family that can be a difficult aspect for nurses another example could be i imagine it would be very difficult working with difficult patients because you are trying to give them the best of care and they are proving stubborn and they won't let you help them the way you want to help them it can be very very stressful working with difficult patients or maybe you feel like running shifts going for night duties would be very difficult for a nurse anything you feel like is difficult for nurses or midwives is something you can put together and as a midwife you can talk about i think it would be very difficult to see that you 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 take took care of a, a pregnant woman and it's time to deliver and she loses her baby or she loses the the life it will be very difficult and emotionally draining for any midwife and an opposite question can be what do you think is the most rewarding part of being a nurse okay so what's what's your excitement what do you think if you become a nurse will be most rewarding for you i know when you get your salary you'll be happy but what about impact an example will be making a difference in someone's life someone is sick is rushed in and you're able to move fast 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 and save the person's life or someone has a problem and is able to come to you and it's something that is bothering the person but because of your knowledge you are able to help the person and put a smile on their face it can be very rewarding another rewarding aspect would be you took care of a patient who was very very ill and now they are going home seeing them go home can be rewarding if you are a midwife you took care of a pregnant woman and um, he she delivers safely has her baby has her life that can be rewarding anything that you feel like will help you like you feel like it's rewarding about nursing talk about it okay then we go to the next category and this one is talking about ethics so a question could be how do you think you will respond if you saw a senior nurse acting in a manner you feel is unethical an example response would be first of all i'll provide an opportunity for the senior to explain his or her actions or to correct the behavior first if a direct conversation doesn't resolve the issue then i'll talk to a higher authority about the issue because trano pano that issue has to be resolved so that something doesn't happen something bad doesn't happen to somebody it doesn't make you a bad person okay another example of an ethical question would be how would you respond if one of your patients refused a medication or treatment deemed to be the only life-saving alternative left for them or what will you do if a patient refuses treatment with this one you have to use your good communication skills so you can say i will try to understand the reason for their decision and i will do this by asking them to tell me more about the decision they are making what is leading to their conclusion if it's because of fear then i would reassure them and explain further the treatment further to them if it's lack of understanding of the treatment then i'll educate them more about their disease condition and why the treatment is needed sometimes patients refuse treatment because of a lot of reasons it could be because of their a uh, religious belief it could be because of lack of understanding it could be because of lack uh, it's because of fear especially when it comes to surgeries or surgical procedures so then you have to talk to them and see their reason why some of them them will never change but you have done your best okay another question and the ethics and this one I'll leave it to you is what will you do how will you handle a situation 
when a patient asks you to do something you feel is outside of a nursing ethical guidelines or it's outside your ethical code what will you do if a patient is asking you to do something that you are not supposed to do how will you handle it leave the comments and let me know and the last category we will address in this video will be current affairs oh yes so with current affairs it can come they can dab you from any angle so you have to read wide and learn wide uh, number one will be current and trending health issues so in 2020 2021 it was all about covid so covid is still in we are still doing vaccination they can ask you about vaccines they can ask you about uh, refusals of vaccines and if you yourself have taken your vaccines and all so be prepared for such questions and right now in 2023 it's about anthrax because anthrax has been confirmed in the upper east region maybe i'll make a video on that let me know in the comment section if you've watched the video to this point let me know if you want a video on anthrax and i'll talk about anthrax so any health current health issues we have to be abreast with it then you know the ministers especially the minister for health minister for education your original minister's name your mc's name anything from like down 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 to your assemblyman's name you have to know and when it comes to your area still on current affairs maybe there's something special happening in your area and your area your town your district has been in the news you have to be aware of that and so from now until you go for an interview watch newspaper reviews watch 7 p.m news okay so that you can pick if your name your district comes into the news you pick if there's a prominent person from your uh, town who has done something marvelous in the world or in the country that people are aware of you have to know about that okay so any peculiar they can just come at you from every angle and you have to be prepared for that but the bottom line is when you answer your questions well when you elaborate more and they are able to pick out questions from it you end up with just two direct questions from the interviewers and every other question will be follow-up questions normally my top two questions are tell me about yourself and why do you want to be a nurse i feel like these two questions when you answer it well if you are asked and you answer it well your interview can go well and if you don't answer it well your interview can go bad like my whole interview Tell me about yourself. Selassie, talk about yourself. And I'll talk small. My name is Selassie. I come from Adakulu. Hey, hey I, that day, I didn't even say I come from Adakulu. I, I was like, my name is Selassie. I went to school here, 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 and there. And I was sitting down looking at them. So where are you from? I'm from Adakulu, Patobe. And I'm sitting there. Ah, so you are from Adakulu, this place, and you can't talk to us? <laughs> Tell us more. What more do you want me to say? I don't know. I'm finished. Don't let that happen to you. Prepare well. Let your answers come naturally. Let it flow, okay? Flow. And then you'll be able to excel your interview. The fact that we have done it means you can do it too. So don't don't look down on yourself. Lift up your chin. Smile. And kill your interview. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.